Soil health is really important to farmers in North Dakota, and one of the ways to build soil health is to start reducing tillage. Um, so we're looking at options of vertical till and strip till as alternatives to the chisel plow and how that affects soil health properties like aggregates, organic matter, and soil microbial communities. Then also we'll be looking at very detailed into soil moisture and soil temperature. Uh, the soil moisture and temperature we'll look at throughout the days, uh, multiple depths, seeing how that tillage practice is doing for retaining heat in the soil. And what we're doing is setting up side-by-side -side trials so you can visualize and see how these systems are performing during emergence uh, in the springtime when soil temperature is very important uh, to getting in your growing degree days that are necessary. This project is interesting because we're going to be doing it in different soil types where we're going to be up in the Red River Valley where we're looking at really heavy clay soils where they think that they have to do um, a lot of tillage to get those soils going but we're going to see if we can reduce our tillage out there and still maintain yields or even increase our yields. So this study is a really nice collaborative effort between North Dakota State University and also University of Minnesota. Um, we know that Jody DeJean Hughes is, a, is an expert in the tillage area and we want to bring that expertise to North Dakota. Um, and we also want to take some of the soil health expertise from over here to Minnesota. So it's a really nice collaboration among farmers in the two states and also the extension programs and research programs in the two states.